Oh, well, actually a few years ago a colleague of mine at ACER asked me who was the teacher that had had the most impact on me when I was at school. And I thought, well actually I, I had lots of great teachers through primary school and, and high school, but the one teacher that left out was really my year 12 chemistry teacher. And I told her how uh, this uh, particular teacher had uh, not only been a really competent teacher and done all the right things and uh, taught us the curriculum and helped us understand, but he had a real passion for the subject and he was able to really communicate that to us on an individual level, so we, we picked that up. And I think a really important part of that was uh, that somehow he helped understand how the different bits of the curriculum are connected together into these uh, bigger ideas uh, that really told us all about how, how the world worked, how the universe worked. And I think that, that although I didn't go on to study science at university, I did keep a lot of that um, with me for a long time and really still think about the world in, in those terms. Um, and uh, that colleague then asked me, oh, where did you go to school? And I said, oh, you know, such and such school. And she said, oh, was the teacher John Smith? And I said, yes, did you know him? She said, he's my husband. And I thought, well, lucky I didn't say he was my worst teacher ever. My most inspiring teacher was Miss Mullen. Um, it was while I was at middle school in Yorkshire. She was my science teacher and also my class tutor. Um, the things I really liked about her method of teaching, she always did really practical lessons, which can sometimes be a bit daunting, I think, for teachers in science. Um, the other thing is she had lots of subject knowledge and she was really enthusiastic about it and she was always willing to share that. And that enthusiasm really rubbed off on the students as well. Ms. Nalini Patet, our school principal, was uh, one of the most inspiring teachers I've had as a student. She had that magic of uh, understanding each one of us, knowing our strengths, our talent, our potential, and uh, constantly encouraging us to achieve our next best level. And uh, she always used to say, uh, competing against others is like running in a rat race whereas competing against your own self is called evolution. I, to this stage, remember what she used to tell us and uh, I'm really inspired by her words. My most inspiring teacher was actually one of the very first teachers I had, my, my prep teacher, Mrs. June Pereira. I'd come to Melbourne from Perth at a very young age. I was very young for my class, so I was quite behind in terms of reading, maths, and even socialising. So she promised my parents that she was going to get me back on track, and she worked with me individually, one-on-one, -on -one, in order to get me to the level that I should have been. So I really credit the fact that she got me to, the, got me to where I should be, and she taught me how to read, and now I'm working in editorial and journalism, so I really credit her for the work that she did and that's why I'm choosing her as my most inspiring teacher.